Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. And today, we're doing my favorite NBA players for this season. So, honorable mentions are Jamal Crawford, Tony Allen, and Zach Randolph. If they're in the lead, they'll be my favorite players because the way they play. Um, so the way I like the way I like players are gritty defenders, explosive offensive players. I like to get to the rim. I, I like three point shooting, but I don't know, I like old school <laughs> for some reason. Um, so my starting point guard is Ben Simmons. That's my favorite player. Um, ben Simmons hasn't changed his game no matter how many times critics got on him. He needs to shoot more threes. He needs to shoot more threes. But if you look at his stats, he got he improved on the defensive end of the ball. So that's why I like Ben Simmons so much. Shooting guard is Luka Doncic. So Luka is an all-around player. He's almost averaging a triple-double, which I know really don't count these days because Russell Westbrook did it three years in a row. But for a second-year player, that's impressive. He's um, listed as a point guard this season as basketball reference, but a secondary position is shooting guard, so I'm using him as a shooting guard. Small forward, LeBron. LeBron's explosive on the offensive end and good defensively. The Lakers have the best team. Um, and that's LeBron. That's part of LeBron's success on the team. He's almost 40 years old and he's still dunking like he's in his prime. It's crazy how he don't. Now he's a machine. Um, my star in power forwards is Pascal Siakam. So, Pascal, he won most improved last year. <clears throat> and he's on pace to win it again this year if the season continues. Everybody thought he was a good second option on the Raptors team that won the championship. But no, he improved more this season without Kawhi being the number one option. Um, my starting center, Joel Embiid. And I'm not a Sixers fan, so don't think that because I got Ben Simmons and Joel. I like Joel because he's a good defender. He's great in the post. He can stretch the floor when he wants to. The only thing I don't like about Joel is his motor. Which that means he's not always aggressive. He's not always trying to get back on defense. <coughs> not the corona, I promise. Um, my backup point guard is Patrick Beverly. For the grittiness. He will get all up in your face and don't care. Just watch the series of Clippers Warriors last year. How he got on KD's grill. And KD's almost seven feet tall and he don't care. Uh, my backup shooting guard is Clay Thompson. He's good three and D. That's that's the only reason why. I don't know how he's gonna come back after the injuries. I'm not counting injuries, so I star in small forward or my backup small forward, my apologies, Kawhi Leonard. I'm not saying LeBron's better than Kawhi. I like watching LeBron better than Kawhi. Kawhi's the best defensive player in the league, arguably. Um, my starting, my backup power forward is Zion Williamson. He's six six, but he jumps like he's seven foot. That's crazy. That dude. The only thing I don't like about him is his weight. If he loses a couple pounds. I'm not calling him fat, but if he loses a couple pounds to get stay healthy, I think he'll be one of the best power forwards in the next 10 years. Uh, my backup center is Bam Adebayo. So, <clears throat> Bam's undersized at center. Um, they count him as a power forward this year on basketball reference, but I'm counting him as a center because he mostly plays center. Um... I like him because he's an all-around player. He's a great defensive player. He can guard one through five, which that's rare in the centers these days. Um, again, I remember this clip last year of LeBron. Bam was guarding LeBron, and LeBron couldn't blow past him. LeBron's known for blast blasting past centers or power forwards, somebody slower than him, which he didn't let that happen. Let me know in the comments what y'all's favorite players are. Like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow this channel out some more. Um, comment what video I should do next. Until next time.